Investments in clean energy reached a record $243 billion last year. Solar photovoltaic systems alone represent a global market worth more than $80 billion a year today. In the coming decades, the clean energy sector is expected to grow by hundreds of billions of dollars. We are in a fierce global race to capture this market. In the past year and a half, the China Development Bank has offered more than $34 billion in credit lines to China's solar companies. China is not alone. To strengthen their country's competitiveness, governments around the world are providing strong support to their clean energy industries. Germany and Canada operate government-backed clean energy lending programs, and more than 50 countries offer some type of public financing for clean energy projects. We appreciate the support of the loan programs received from many members of Congress who have urged us to accelerate our efforts and to fund worthy projects in their states. In total, the Department received nearly 500 congressional letters about the loan programs. Through the loan programs, the Department of Energy is supporting 38 clean energy projects that are expected to employ more than 60,000 Americans, generate enough clean electricity to power 3 million homes, and displace more than 300 million gallons of gasoline annually. These important investments are helping to make America more competitive in the global clean energy economy. While we are disappointed in the outcome of this particular loan, we support Congress's mandate to finance the deployment of innovative technologies and believe that our portfolio of loans does so responsibly. The President asked for a review of the Department's loan portfolio. We support that review, and I look forward to the results. The Energy Department is committed to continually improving and applying lessons learned in everything we do because the stakes could not be higher for our country. When it comes to the clean energy race, America faces a simple choice, compete or accept defeat. I believe we can and must compete. 